Good afternoon. Um, it's been a while, but uh, I'm back on the bank. Um, and I'm just taking a walk. I'm at Linear, Linear Fisheries. Uh, got back in hand, just taking a walk around. Um, Hardwick at the moment. I'm gonna take a look around Hardwick, see if I see anything. And uh, B2 is gonna be an option as well. So uh, um, I'm on the spit now on Hardwick. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna take a walk around, see if I can see much. Um, and then make my choice from there. It's uh, Sunday afternoon. Uh, it's about, about one o'clock now, I think. So I'm in no rush, I'm here till Tuesday. Um, so yeah, just gonna take a walk round uh, Hardwick Smiths and round B2 and see if, uh, see if I see any fish. So uh, once I've decided, I'll uh, I'll uh, give you an update of, uh, of the situation. Speak to you soon. Okay, so I've taken a walk around Smith's Hardwick. Um, it's, it's nice weather, so it's very busy on there. Um, I haven't seen any fish. Um, and to be honest, all the decent pegs were taken. There was a Nothing now really fancied, so I, I popped over to uh, B2 um, and um, on the left hand side, as you drive into the lake, there's a swim, a further swim up on the left hand side. Uh, I can't see what, what peg number it is, um, but um, I'll, I'll get a picture of the map and then show you on, on the map now but um, I've got plenty of water here. Um, all to my left-hand side, it's all my margin. Um, there's no one to the left of me here. Um, and there's a, there's a large gap between the, me and the, and the angler to the right. So, um, and the wind's piling down here. Um, so yeah, I like the look of this. So um, I'll, uh, I'll get the stuff on the barrow and uh, Get into the swim. Catch you in a bit. God, it's a scorcher. Um, okay, I've just had, had a walk around uh, Ardwick Smith's. It was my first choice. Um, I'd, uh, St John's, um, Ardwick Smith's and B2. Um, before I come, that there was a three that, that I wanted to uh, um, that's what I wanted to get on. Um, the weather's, we've had a couple of days now, a few days of, of, of the warm weather and the, and the carp has started to spawn. Um, so a lot of um, St John's is closed because of the spawning, a lot of swims on St John's and also on B1. So uh, everywhere else is, um, It's busy. Um, first choice was, was, was Smith Albrecht. I wanted, I wanted to try on there. Um, I've done one on there before. Um, so it's a lovely lake, lovely fish. Um, but most of the most of the pegs that I wanted to get on there, they're all taken, of course. Um, and and I, I didn't didn't see any didn't see anything. I've, so I was looking in the, in the corners, in the margins, because so it's, it's warm, see if there's any, see if I see anything, but, but, but nothing. So I popped over to B2, uh, and I'll come up the left, the left side, as you drive into the lake, um, right to the end, and the swim um, 
right in the end is free. It's peg 37. Um, and the wind's piling in, in here. And it's, it's got a lovely margin. If you, if you know B2, you, you, you'll know it. You've, you've got, this is the last swim on, on this side of the lake. So you, you've got plenty of water to, to your left. Um, so yeah, so I've chose here. It looks promising. Um, and just fingers crossed they don't start spawning here as, as well. Um, the last thing we, we, we want is uh, to, to get everything up, set up, start fishing and then, then for, for them to start spawning and, uh, and then we have to leave. So fingers crossed uh, that doesn't happen. Time to get the rods out. Um, uh, have, have, a, have a lead about, see if I can find uh, some uh, good places to fish and then uh, and then I'll give you an update later, guys. I'll speak to you in a bit. Five o'clock. Um, nothing yet. Um, a few fish showing up here. Um, all around, actually. Um, close to where my baits are as well. So, uh, yeah, looking positive, looking good. Um, bit of a schoolboy error. Um, I thought I was in the last swim on this, on this bank, which was 37, but looks like there's a 38, which is up to the left of me. Um, where I, where I am, um, you, you can't see it. It is it, sort of cut in, um, and then there's a fence and, and, and a gate up there. And I, I thought that that was uh, I was the last swim. So uh, I'm I'm bloody hoping that uh, it's uh, it's five o'clock now. So I think the gate's shut, something like seven or something on them now. So I'm I'm hoping that uh, um, no one turns up. In the next couple of hours, and um, it goes in that swim to my left because that buggers me up because I'm fishing up that margin. Oh, that was my yeah. I'm getting getting a few liners. Oh, there we go. I've got a family of swans now. Family of swans come down and just about cause havoc. So uh, I'll uh, I'll let let you go. I'll speak to you in a bit. Okay, I'll just show you quickly where my spots are. So if you look just down here, so I just on the edge of those reeds there. Um, I've got a bag there. Uh, five spawns. You go look at the gap in the tree. Little gap in the tree there and I'm going out there. About 15, 15 wraps. And there's about 15 spawns out there. But yeah, the wind's piling down. It's very, very busy though. Very, very busy. So uh, even on a Sunday night going and going into Monday. So uh, it seems uh, seems like we've got a nice bit of water out here. All to myself. So hopefully I can I can make the most of it and uh, keep this area quiet and so the fish can go in. Okay, uh, first one of the session. Looks like this one's been in the wars. It's got half of its tail missing. Unfortunately, it's a, it's a pretty one. Uh, about 12 pound. Unfortunately, you can see there whether they have otters. Oh, oh, oh. Whether they have they've otters up this way. Well, that's been uh, been attacked by an otter. I, I don't know, but uh, yeah, that's, uh, I've got some carp care. We can put some carp care on that and then, then get get him straight back. Second fish. Beautiful dark chestnut. Come here up. Oh, let's get her up. Let's get her up. Oh. She's doing a bit lively. There we go. 17 pounds. 
Um, that was on the bag over the spot. 15 wraps out. Beautiful, beautiful colours, beautiful fish. And it, it fought like a 30 pounder. But yeah, beautiful. In the, uh, in the evening sunlight, it's, uh, it's a gorgeous fish. Let's get it back and uh, get the rods back out. Just gone half past nine. Um, sort of just just finished. Um, let me something to eat. Um, a cup of tuna steaks. Uh, very nice. Washed down by a, an Erdinger. Non-alcoholic beer. Um, oh, I've had the two fish, and I've just lost one. Um, it's been, uh, it's been eventful. Um, I had the first fish, um, um, and as I was playing that in, the other two rods started going. Um, I was thinking, so I, I, I got the, uh, I landed the first fish. Quickly set up the landing net, um, picked up the second rod, felt something on the end, and then that was was caught over the, uh, uh, caught around the, the third rod. And what it was, it was a there was a trailer. It took out the other two rods at the same time. I was playing in the the first fish, um, so it was a bit of a knit one pearl one, and eventually got. Um, got them all untangled and uh, and, I, and I got the line where, where the trailer was and I, and I felt the fish, I felt the fish on, on the other two rods and as I was pulling it in there, there was nothing on the end, it, it was a, it was just loads and loads of line. Um, so I had to redo all that, that was the first fish, a 12, 12 pound mirror, um, got the rods all back out, um, then I was um, I was visited by a family of geese who then decided to take out all three rods again. So, um, redone all those rods, um, got them back out again. Then I had the, the 17, um, which also decided to actually absolutely go nuts and, and fight like a, a 30 pounder and that took out all my other rods as well so i've just been oh it's i've been been all over the place as i said i've just managed to sit down um at, at, at my dinner about nine o'clock it was um and i've just had and i've just had a run on the on the bag again, and, and I lost it. The um, the lead core, the lead core, it, the, 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 the 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 loop or or, or whatever. It, it, it was a cord or um, one of the cord or ones. But it, these things happen. It, it was it was it was it was a drop off lead system anyway. The cord a drop off, so that, that the lead would have. Lead would have gone. So, uh, but yeah, I guess the, these these things happen with fishing. You can't you can't can't get everything in. And uh, so yeah, I've just redone that rod. Um, I'm having success, and, and everything's come on on the one rod, on the on the on the the, the baited spot at 15 wraps. Um, on the bag, um, these the then I've got another rod on that baited spot but it's not in a bag it's just in a slip d slip d rig and i've had nothing on that so i might swap that over to a bag the bag seems to be producing 
and the third rod I've moved off the off the margin there because I, was, I saw the, lots of fish showing and uh, lots of lots of feeding bubbles. So I put the third rod um, right in amongst those. Um, there's lots of fish down this end, lots of fish showing. So I expect quite an eventful night tonight. Let's, let's hope uh, I've backleaded everything up now. So hopefully we won't get um, taken out. If we, if, we do, if we do get one, won't, they won't take out every single rod. Anyway, right, I'm going to relax for a bit now. It's uh, like I said, it's been uh, it's actually been uh, crazy for the last couple of hours or so. So, um, any updates? Uh, any fish? I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll get them up and and, and show you later. Speak to you soon. Morning. Um, it's 20, 20 past seven. I've been up since about five o'clock actually. I've been, I've moved my moved swims. I've, I've moved my gear um, to the end swim now because uh, um, I, I was sort of fishing fishing up here any, anyway. I found a, a, a nice gravel spot sort of up, up in this room. I didn't know it was here to be honest, so uh, so I, I thought uh, I'd jump in here um, before anyone else um, jumps in here today. And also the guy next to me, where I was fishing before, I didn't realise he was, he was, he was casting into my swim, um, which I lost a fish last night because of it. Um, it, went, it went through his zig and didn't realise he was pulling one, one side of the bush and, and I was pulling the other side and you know, I lost a fish. Um, so yeah, there was two lost fish last night and that, that was about it. Um, so yeah, I've moved swim. I found that spot again, which is closer now. To, um, eight wraps out. Um, uh, I've put about 10 spots of uh, bait over that. And two bags on, on the top of that, and then the third, I've got a little little area out to the right. I, I can I can move that bag bag around, and if I see any fish, I've got some bags made up to to stick one on it and, and cast a showing fish. But um, it's a, it's a lot lot colder today. Um, it's uh, not a cloud, and there's less fish up this end. Um, there there was a lot more fish yesterday. So uh, yeah, bit of. Uh, we have a funny session so far. Uh, so we just had the two, and we, we lost the two. Lost the two. Um, so, so hopefully we will we'll settle down into this swim um, and get some bait out there and get the swim going. Um, I'll go through um, with you guys later what bait I'm using, rigs, my um, spot mix, etc. But I think it's time to get a brew on and uh, make myself a nice omelette. I think. So I'll catch you in a bit. Afternoon guys. Uh, three o'clock, uh, Monday, Monday afternoon, and it's been a struggle today. No, no fish today, uh, but the weather, the weather's spot on. It, it's piling up this end. Uh, it, it looks carpy. It looks good for a bite, uh, but compared to yesterday, I've, I've, I've seen one fish, one fish all, all, all day, and that was literally 20 minutes ago. Um, it was about five or six wraps out in front so I've plonked a bag um plonked a bag there um, so that's a good sign at least I've seen one fish um I'm just I'm just topping up with a few spums fresh in the spot so uh, what I'll do I'll look, I'll quickly show you what I've got in, in my spod mix this session let's have a look and see what we've got in here there we go. So we've got um, that's um, that's 
There's uh, oily halves, which are uh, DNA, uh, the switch and the bug. There's some chopped luncheon meat in there, some tigers, there's some hemp. Um, there's some crushed boilies. Um, what else did we put in? And sweet corn, of course. It's, it's a linear, you've got to put some sweet corn in there. And we've got some salmon oil. And also I'm trying for the first time the Nash. Um, it's, 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 it's liquid, the liquid food they do, and it's the worms one, it's the liquid worms. So, uh, seemed to be doing the business yesterday when there was fish here, but uh, like I said, there's nothing, there's nothing out in front of us today. I'll just quickly show you around the lake. I think we're at the top end and every swim every swim is taken every swim, swim is taken and they, 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 there's the two right in the corner right at the end there's, there's guys in there as well I did pop down to the shop earlier get some bits and he's busy busy all around for, for a Monday I'm very surprised. So, uh, I don't think I'm going to move. Um, we're, we're only here till tomorrow. Um, I think that this wind piling up here, I think the wind, the fish have got to get, get up here. I think the fish have got to get up here today. So, uh, yeah. Okay, hopefully uh, next time I, I touch base, we'll, we'll have a fish on the bank. Right, eight o'clock, and still no fish today, and I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen anything at all. Um, I'm camping at the moment. Um, I've just had a guy moving next to me, so, so, the, so the lake must be, must be rammed still. Um, he, didn't, he didn't even come up and speak with me, ask me uh, what's going on. So uh, yeah, hopefully either the lake's rammed or he knows something I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, three rods are done now for the for the evening. Um, two bags on the spot. I put about a ten ten spawnfuls uh, of bait out there, and, I, and, I, and the left hand rod is uh, I've chucked a bag down the margin. So they're they're all done. So uh, hopefully the, the fish are going to move in. As the, the wind's still piling up here, so. Uh, Fingers crossed that they'll move up here during the night and we, we get something. If not, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a quiet night again. So fingers crossed. Morning. Um, well, we are past seven, and it hasn't stopped raining. Uh, I think it started yesterday, um, Monday, about early afternoon. You know, it, we had a break in the evening. I managed to cook myself salmon to eat, and it started again. Horrible drizzle, and then it came down, and it hasn't stopped. Well, it's literally just stopped now. Um, it rained all night, all night, um, and the temperatures dropped. It, it's uh, I've got me, even got my fleece on, um, and motionless, motionless indicators again. Last night, there's uh, it's it's dead. It's absolutely dead. Um, I'm going to re redo the bags now, but um, I'm supposed to be off this evening. Um, but by the look of it, I think I'll be able to be off earlier. Um, I'm going to, have to try and driving it out. It's, uh, as I said, there's so, so much rain. Last night, um, hopefully that's it for the, for the day now, but it's very, very grey. Overcast, wind still coming down this end, so I'm, I thought we would have had something. I thought the fish would have moved back in, um, but they, they they moved out Sunday night and haven't come back. I was 
still uh, the guy next to me who, who uh, looks like he was just doing a quick overnighter. He chucked uh, a ton of bait out and uh, I don't think he had anything. And I've still got one, two, three, the four guys opposite as well. I think they're sitting behind motionless rods. Oh, I guess it's one of those things, isn't it? The session starts off really well and then uh, then you struggle for the rest of the session. But uh, as I said, I'll, I'll, I'll redo the bags now. Um, and maybe, maybe freshen up the spot with a little bit of bait. But to be honest, I don't see nothing happening. I haven't, I haven't, seen, a, I haven't seen a fish at all down this end for, for a good 24 hours now. So, uh, um, yeah. If I catch anything, I'll, uh, I'll update you later. Okay, my fish ain't playing bow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, talk you through um, bags, rigs, hook bait, etc., etc. Um, I, I use the, uh, I use a multi rig, slip D multi rig. Go. Uh, and I've attached my bait um, via with a micro ring swivel. Um, hook is a quarter crank, brand new. That's a good thing about the, this uh, this rig. You can easily take that shrink tube off or tube in whatever you're going to use. Um, take the ring swivel off, hook off, new hook on, and, then, and back on. Uh, there's about four to five inches of uh, braid there. That's uh, just going into a lead, uh, inline lead. I'm not fishing it, drop off, and, and that's on a bit of, uh, that's lead free leader. Um, I'm, I'm not not fishing this drop off because there's, there's no snags or weed out there. So, but what I do make sure is that that swivel in the bottom of the lead can come out easy. So if you do lose your, lose your rig, um, the fish won't be putting around, putting around that lead. Okay, so bag system I use is the Fox Rapide. So you, you get a little tub like this, um, which consists of a loading tool, a collar, and then you get your get your bags as well. I use the Oh yeah, that was a three ounce lead. I like to use a three ounce lead, the smallest. I'll use a three ounce lead. I find that the hooking, um, hooking potential is a lot better with a heavier lead. Um, so yeah, the bags I'll be using, um, they're like a small size. I think they're 60 by 120 or 60 by 130. You, you, you can get uh, you get it's two types of small bags. Um, okay, so you get your bag. And open it up. Everything's damp here. It's the thing, we're, we're raining. Like I said, it's been raining for 14 hours straight, I think it's been something like that. And this bag's... Uh, Seen a bit of the dam, so loading your bag, open up the bag, insert your loading tool into the bag like so, and then take off your collar. Also on your loading tool you've got a little little slot there for your put your leader over to, to hold it in place. So there we go, you've got your loading tool and you've got your bag. Uh, I like to put my hook and hook bait in the bottom of the bag and I like to lay it flat. If I can get it to lay flat, there we go, in the right way. You see that I've used the, the slot on the loading tool to hold my leader. So I'll slide that along. So that's hook and hook bait are flat in the bottom of the bag like that. Then a half a scoop full of, of pellet. I'll show you what pellet I'm using in, in a second. And then just tap that down a little bit in the bottom of the bag. Tap that down with your lead. Like 
so. And then here, this is where I like to add, add, add my glug, which is the Withy, the special glaze. I've used this for years now. And just squeeze a little bit of that right there. So it's, it's, it's right next to your hook bait. Best place for glug. And then top up your bag. Micro pellets and tap it down using your lead like so. A little bit more to about halfway of the bag, like so. And then if you tap in the center of the bag, you make a little indentation for your lead to sit in. Make sure it's center of the bag and then fill up the rest of the bag around the lid. Like so, so you've just got the uh, st stem of the inline lead sticking out the top of the pellet there. So now tap it down. So right, this is where you now, this is where the magic happens, you twist twist the loading tool by, by grip, while, while gripping the, the bag. And then twist that round and tapping down, making that bag solid, like so. And then you lick the excess on the top. That's why the bags are long. And then you slightly open the loader. Keep licking as you go. And push down. Over the bag. Like so. Okay, and then you take the loader off. You've got a slit in the loader. If you're st even if it's still attached to your line, then that, that can slip off. And then you can just now neaten that up. Got a couple of seams on the edge. You can lick and stick those. And then if you, if, if you need, you can just tighten that bag up by grabbing the ears corners of the bag, licking them, folding them over, like so. Same with the other side. Lick and stick, like so. And then you've got one finished bag. And I'll, I'll, I'll in, I've got, I've got, I've got the, uh, the glug at the bottom there. Um, and, and now it's up to you. If, if you want to inject anything else into that bag, I'm not going to bother. Um, my pellets have been sitting in um, tiger nut oil and salmon oil for a long time, so they're, they're well coated, and, and, and they, 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 the, the, the oils have, uh, have, have have gone into into those pellets. Um, the pellets I'm using is is, is I've got oh, I've got about five different types there, I hope you can see that. Uh, there's some bloodworm pellet there, there's some halibut pellet, there's some um, betaine pellets, uh, there's some spotted fin sweet corn pellets, there's everything in there. Also some rock salt as well. Um, and as I said, I've been soaking in salmon oil and, 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 the, and dynamite's baits. Um, tiger nut oil, which I love. That's great stuff. Um, I'm only going eight, eight wraps with this. Um, if I'm if I'm going 15 wraps or any anything above, I will I will tie the bags normally. But just just for ease, these are fantastic. They're quick. Um, so yeah, if you want to improve your fishing, you know, and you, and you struggle tying bags. That, that, that's, a, that's a good way to, to start tying your bags. Anyway, I hope that helps you in your fishing. And I'll speak to you soon. 
Sitting here thinking about um, about hooks. I use um, quarter crank. I, I like the cat, the the the, the, the pattern, um, and they're they're all micro barbed. Um, but I was just thinking um, the old argument: um, barb versus barbless. Um, and the pros and cons for for for, for each. And my my, my some fisheries um, allow barbed, and some fisheries uh, only allow barbless. Um, you have the the argument that um, against barbless hooks. That they that they move around and, and they leave a uh, they leave a hole in the fish's mouth. Um, to be honest, I, I haven't used barbless hooks that 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 often, but um, I have done when when, when needed, um, and I've never never noticed that 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 before. But I guess if if, if I was a constant user of barbless hooks, I might, I might come across that problem. But um, I, I've seen lots of. I fish lots of day ticket fisheries that, um, shall we say, um, we have a lot of beginners, beginner anglers. We're all, we're all beginners at one, one point, um, and uh, the mouth damage it's on the carp is, is atrocious, to, to be honest. Um, and these are, these are fisheries that allow barbed hooks. Um, and you've got the the you've got the, the, the cons uh, regarding barbed hooks. So if, if, if you crack off or you lose you, you lose your your end tackle, and the fish is swimming around with a with a rig with a barbed hook in it, that's yeah. especially if it's caught in the hard bit of the, the lip, that's never coming out. So that, that's going to be dragging that. That rig, and it could have a, it could have a lead on it, and also it could have a leader on it as well, and it could be dragging that round for for forever, and until maybe it, it, it gets the trailer gets caught or the fish gets caught again. Um, so yeah, I, I could see the, the the pros and cons for both, and, 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 and why why fisheries would, would, would ban um, barbed hooks or, or ban. Um, barbed hook, barbless hooks. In my honest opinion, if, if it were my own fishery, I would I would make it a barbless rule, um, just for the welfare of my fish, um, especially if it was a day ticket. Um, if I could vet the angler, if I, if it was a syndicate, and I could vet the anglers and, and, and knew that they were um, uh, decent fishermen and, and, and knowledgeable um, on, on rig safety, that then, then I'd think twice about it. Um, but just for fish safety, I, I think um, I think barbless hooks would be my choice if I own the fishery. And why do I use barbed hooks? Like I said at the beginning, probably for selfish reasons. Really, no, not for fish safety or or or, um, or anything else. It's if I'm being honest here, it's I don't want to lose the fish. You know, if I'm fishing fishing in the water and, and there's a you know there's a I've, I've, I've hooked into a PB and get it to the net and, and, and the hook pulls because there's no barb holding it in. I, I know they say that if you've got a barb, this if you keep tension on that line all, all the time. Um, you'll have no problems, but for that extra bit of security and, 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 and in, in your mind that, that, that that fish is going to come off, I think that's why I use barbed hooks. Um, let us know in the comments below what, what, you, what, you, what you prefer, what hooks you use and, and, and why, and uh, your pros and cons on barbed and barbless hooks.
Okay. Half past nine now. Um, still nothing. It's dead, dead, dead. I haven't seen, I haven't seen a fish at all. Um, I'm even looking down, down the length of Bray's nose. Um, and <laughs> I haven't seen anything. No shows at all. Nothing at all. Um, the wind's still piling up here. Um, it's, it's a cold wind though. Um, maybe down there, down there, down on, on the back. Back post is warmer down there. I can't, I can't see down into the bow area, but there's nothing up here. Uh, still, guys, I'm fishing opposite. Um, they, they've had nothing. I'll let a slow pack down um, and sort of head, get away midday, I think. I don't, I don't see it changing. Um, and the weather's not going to warm up either today. It's going to be, be like this for a couple of days. So uh, if, if nothing happens, no fish before I leave, I, I, I'll, do a, I'll do a last update. Before I go, but but, but that, that that's the that's the plan. Okay, speak to you. Okay, it's the end of the session. There's the gear behind me, all packed up. Let's have a quick summary. Um, come up to Linear on, on Sunday, Sunday afternoon is uh, just about two o'clock. Uh, it's nice and sunny, beautiful weather, very warm. Um, I wanted to get on Hardwick, Hardwick Smiths. Um, it was the choice between Hardwick Smiths, uh, St John's, and B2. Uh, popped in the shop quickly, had a quick walk around St John's, but there was fish spawning, and a lot of the swims were were uh, fenced off. So uh, straight over to. Uh, Hardwick Smiths um, didn't want to particularly want to fish on a, a, a lake that was that was spawned in case they all spawned and I had to be uh, come off. So yeah, went over to Hardwick Smiths and the pegs that I had to walk round, the pegs that I wanted um, were all taken. Um, perhaps in eyesight, I should have turned up a little bit later. People might have left. Um, but there was nothing there, so I popped over to B2. I think they were spawning on B1 as well, so a lot of swims were roped off from B1. So B2 was very busy. I came to the top end. The top end on the, on the left-hand side, I think it was 37, 38. I didn't realize there was, there was a swim at the end, but I went into 37. There was lots of fish up this end, lots of fish. And we had the two, and we lost the two. Um, that was Sunday evening. Um, and then the weather turned. The wind's still been in the same direction, but the weather turned and it started, it started getting colder. And the fish, fish disappeared Sunday night, Monday morning and didn't come back. So I've been hit, sitting here behind motionless rods um, until now. Uh, I've had bet, I've had better sessions of an ad word session so it was a mediocre you know i didn't like losing those two fish either I don't usually lose fish and um and like i said there, there was lots of fish up here at the beginning at the beginning of the session and, and then they they buggered off oh well okay next session uh in june i think we could get out in june and maybe we're looking at three nighter but it'll be close to home. I'm going to be fishing with um, uh, friend Rob again, who's a, who's a catfish member. So it'll be a cat carp water. And uh, uh, I think it will be uh, local to us, probably Willow's Farm, the farm lake. Um, so look out for that, that one on the channel. That, that'll be sometime uh, beginning of June. Uh, so uh, if you're out on the banks or if you're heading out, Good luck, tight lines, and I'll catch you on the next vlog.